All right. So in this game, we're going to uh, put a whole bunch of money up on the screen and then ask the user to see how much, uh, to estimate how much they see. So if you were just looking at this, how many uh, dollar signs do you see? That's basically what we're going to do, right? So the first thing we need to do is we need to print off a whole bunch of money, and then we need to ask for them to guess, and then we need to check to see if that guess is true. Uh, so let's take a look um, at what we want to do here. First thing is I just open up a, a Notepad++, and I save this as estimator.py. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to print off a money sign, which is, oh my gosh, above the four, right? And I want to print it off a certain amount of times. Uh, let's say X amount of times. The only problem with that is I don't have an X. So I could start off with X as 14, and I could run this thing and it'll print off 14 X's, and that would be all right, right? But the problem is I want it to change every time that they run the program. If it's 14, as soon as they realize that there's 14 dollar signs, it's going to be it's going to be over. So. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a random number. Um, that's our first step. Uh, and that's what this does, create random number. Up at the top of your program, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to import random. Now Python's got a lot of built-in things, like we didn't have to add the, you know, when I say the plus sign, I mean take these two values, add them together, right? We didn't have to do that. But if we want to um you know, there's things that we can we can put into Python to make it kind of more powerful, and one of the idea one of the things that we can import into it is the idea of random. Um, so once I have random, I can do this. Now this is actually, and you only need to import random once at the top of your code. Once I have random, I can do this. X is going to be random dot now rand int and I'm going to give it a range, right? So if I say random.randint, I want to pick a number, let's say 1 through, uh, let's start with just 10, right? Um, so it's going to pick a random number between 0 and 10. Let's take a look at it. First time it's 2, next time it's 3, next time it's 5, etc., right? <clears throat> so now I want to have the user guess. Uh, that'll be the second key thing. Um, have the user guess how many they see. The next thing I'll need to do after that is check to see if they did it. And I'm also going to keep track to see how many times they guessed. Now, so far, the only loop that we know, so this, this part is all the setup of the problem, right? This stuff, steps two through three, that's what we're going to be doing over and over and over again, right? Um, seek, how many times they see. So we're going to have them guess, and we're going to check, and then we're going to keep track over and over and over again. So that tells you it should be a loop right off the bat. Now, the only loop that we know so far is that four x in range 0 to and here's a little problem I used x and then I'm gonna use x down here so I'm gonna uh, change it to a so it's gonna print a amount of times and a is gonna be my random number it's just not a good idea to use things in multiple different spots uh, same letter okay <clears throat> so I could do something like this right for x in range 0 to 10 but the, the problem with that is if I put all of this stuff in the loop, that gives them a max amount of guesses, right? That only gives them 10 times because that loop will run 10 times. But if I was picking a random number between 0 and, I don't know, 1,000, that wouldn't be very useful for them because realistically they're not going to get that in 10 guesses. Um, so what I want is I want a new kind of loop that will be checking to see when it's done, right? So if I'm going to use a 4x in range uh, like 0 to 10 if I know I'm only giving them 10 chances um, or I know exactly how many times something's going to run. Um, I'm going to use this other kind of loop if I don't know how many times I need to loop something. So I'm going to use this one. Lowercase while, uppercase true. So while true. Um, 
and I'm gonna say I need to get user guess. So user guess is gonna be the integer input of how much cash do you see? How much? <clears throat> and of course, close off parentheses. Um, so I'm guessing how much cash uh, do you see? Now, so that uh, I guess accomplishes number two, just for my own well-being, I'm gonna put that above it. So that's the first thing, successfully did that. Now I wanna to check to see if they did it. Now, if they do it, uh, did it successfully, that's when I'm going to get out of this loop. Um, so watch this. Um, if the user guess is equal to, is equal to, and I'm making a mistake right there um, to prove a point. Uh, so if the user guess is equal to A, what will happen? So what I'm looking for is if they, if A was what, like nine, 900, right? That's a number between zero and, and, and 1,000. It's going to multiply the money sign by that that many times. And if their guess was equal to that, um, then I'm going to say, you know what? Break. So break is how you get out of a while true loop. If I don't have that, um, if I don't have this in there, it'll keep going forever. The second thing I want to note is, you see this one equal sign? Um, we use one equal sign if we're gaining information and literally setting it equal to. So user guess now literally becomes whatever their answer to this is. If I want to check something, you do like a double equal signs. Like, is it equal? Like, so anyway, it's, it, this is a, this right here is kind of a question. Is this equal? Um, so make sure you use two, two signs right there. So I'm going to just kind of tone it down here and just say 10, and I'm gonna run this thing. So how much cash do you see? If I say three, that's wrong, and two, and I can keep guessing and this would go for forever, right? Um, if I actually want to try here, I see it's seven, and you'll see that as soon as I say seven, it's, um, it's done with it, right? Um, I wanna keep track of how many guesses they've had, so I need to use a counter. So to begin with, they've had, I guess you could call this their, their, their guess counter, right? Um, to begin with, they haven't guessed at all. Uh, right here, counter equals counter plus one. Um, and I want to print them a message, right? So sometimes it takes a little bit of playing out, uh, playing around with where you want the counter to be updated, this part right here, and where you actually want the message printed. Um, I'll show you. So how much cash do you see? If I say two, uh, so far it took me one try, th two tries. Okay, it's updating the way I want it to, and then it gets me six right there. Um, if I, I want to add one more thing to this, right? Um, I want to give them a message if it's too high or too low. So if the user guess is smaller than the actual value A, I want to print and vice versa. I'm going to copy that and bring it down here. So now I just need to flip that sign, greater than. <clears throat> um, I could put greater than or equal to, uh, but that wouldn't make any sense because or equal to means that they got it correct. Um, so I'm printing messages inside of, uh, of each one of these. So I can also print a message inside of this as well. 
congrats. It took you here. Oh. And I'm going to do that. Figure out there were dollars. So the second one is going to be that a value, right? Or I guess I could put user guess since they're um, at that point would be the same thing. Uh, all right, missing a parenthesis there. Let's see how it works. So how much cash do you see? I said five. Okay, too high. Try lower. Um, oh, I've got those flipped. I really am a dummy. Yeah, if the guess is lower than the number, that means it's lower. Yikes. Okay, how much cash do you see? I see three. Yikes, you're no good. Guess higher. Awesome. It took you one try. How much cash do you see? Five. Too high. Try lower, dummy. Fantastic. This is great for my, my ego. Then I say four. That says congrats. It took you two tries. Two try to figure out that there were four dollars. So here's the error. It took me one try, two tries, and then I took a third guess and it didn't do it. So right before I do this, it's breaking right here in the middle of my while wow true loop and it never hits this counter again. And since it never hits that counter again, it doesn't count as another one. So what I want to do is if they do get it correct, I need to just add in here counter equals counter plus one. And now it'll work out perfect. And I'm going to put tries in there. So now it should work perfectly. How much cash do you see? Five, uh, that's no good. How about 100? No, that's no good. Okay, nine, eight, uh, I guess higher, uh, 10. Perfect. It took you five tries to figure out that there were $100, and my tries match up perfectly. All right.